Uh, Sorry, wrong number is a play written by Lucia Fletcher in 1943. The main character is Mrs. Stevenson, an invalid uh, who has been attempting to get in touch with her husband who is working late. However, the line is busy and she ends up overhearing a phone conversation between a killer named George and his boss. Okay, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel Bachelor and Master English. Today, uh, we are going to talk about a uh, radio play, Sorry Wrong Number by Lucille Fletcher, American playwright. Uh, here are characters. Uh, the principal character here is Mrs. Leona Stevenson and the other characters you can watch. Okay, uh, let's talk about the play. Sorry, wrong number is a 1940s radio play by female playwright Lucille Fletcher. It is a play meant to be heard rather than seen on theatre stage. It is a type of dramatic genre that was heard on the radio rather than acted and performed that is radio drama. The playwright tries to write a story through dialogue and convey messages throughout radio rather than theatrical performance. Michel Fletcher's drama Sorry Wrong Number was first performed as a radio play in 1943. Uh, in the preface uh, to the published version, uh, Fletcher writes, this play was originally designed as an experiment in sound and not just as a murder story. The voices on the telephone were to be the play's main focus. Sorry, wrong number was first year on the suspense radio program in 1943. The story by Lucille Fletcher went on to be considered one of the greatest radio drama episodes. It was adapted to become a movie and a later production of the radio drama won the Edgar Award for Best Radio Drama. The story is set in New York. This story has been narrated from the perspective of Mrs. Stevenson and is set near uh, Queensboro uh, Bridge in New York. The story also includes places like Murray Hill, uh, where her husband works, and Second Avenue, which is near her place of residence. Okay, uh, let's go with the summary of the play. Sorry, wrong number 1943 is a radio play by Lucille Fletcher. In the play, protagonist Mrs. Leona Stevenson is sick and confined to her bed. One night, whilst waiting for her husband to return home, she picks up the phone and accidentally overhears two thugs plotting a murder. They are discussing the specifics of a pending murder of a woman at 11.15 p.m. that same night. They are a killer named George and his boss hired for slaying Mrs. Leona Stevenson. She becomes historic while trying to work out uh, who the victim to prevent the crime. But later she realizes that she is the intended murder victim. At this, she desperately tries to get back in touch with the police, but she is too late. The murderer is already in the house and listening in on the call. Unfortunately, just before she is connected to the police, Mrs. Stevenson is murdered. Mrs. Stevenson is killed by her husband's hired men. Now, he has become free from his responsibility of an invalid wife whom he has to take care of her all the time. He is obsessed with her uh, as he has been looking after her for 12 years uh, in that physically deformed position. Now, it's time for Nepali summary. Kirpaya Maaf Garnola, Tapaili Dial Garego Number Milena, Shirsako Natak, Ameriki Natakar Lucial Fletcher, Koy Churchit Sansani Puna Bishi Sanga Samandit, Radio Natako. Your Natak Poila Patak Son, Unisit Tirzalisma, Radio Marfat Persan Gari Gutu, Kautola Puna Bishi, Gustu Samas Gari, Operat Kendri, your Natak, Bibit Rubma Rangamans. र मनोरंजन को लागि प्रयोग गरिने एक चर्चित कृति बन्न पुगेको छ यस नाटकको कथा एक अपाङ्ग न्यूयोर्क निवासी महिलालाई उसको आफ्नो श्रीमानले भाडाका मानिसहरू लगाएर मार्न लगाएको विषयवस्तुसँग सम्बन्धित हुन्छ औषधि कम्पनीमा काम गर्ने श्रीमान घर बेला बेलामा नआई राति अबेरसम्म काम गरिरहेको र उसँग घर एक्लै व्हिलचेयरमा बस्ने 
उसको अपांग श्रीमती अथवा शारीरिक दुर्बलता भेकी श्रीमती ने फोन करमो समयसम व्यस्त रहोक होता तेसो हो नपर्ने वाली टेलीफोन अपरेटर संग फोन कर लाइन जुद्धा दुईवटा ठगर एट महिला को हत्या करने योजना बना सुन्ने तो महिला लिओना स्टेन्सन को हो बचा सहयोग निष्कर्ष में पुगे प्रहरी फोन कर अपराधी आपने घर आई उस मरे को कथा इस नाटक में प्रस्तुत कर छोटकरी में कथा को सार ते नहीं हो अब इसको नेपाली में सारांश कृपया माफ कर डायल कर नंबर मिले श्रीमती स्टेवेन्सन आप श्रीमान को नंबर में फोन कर फोन में व्यस्तता का कुरा आँच थकित भर ऊ अपरेटर नंबर मिला लगे रोन लाइन जोड़ी दी उसको श्रीमान ढिलो रातिसम कार्यालय को काम करते हुू घर में एक्ल ऊ अति अन्ोल में थी अर्क फोन रिसिवर कसले उठाऊ संयोग बस लाइन में दुई ठगर कुरा उसके सुन्े पेल मानस ने जर्ज निर्देशन दिने जर्ज ठेकाना था बिस्तार बिस्तारे उसे जानकारी दीदे भाई निजी चौकीदार बिहार खाना दोसरो गली में रहे चमेने गिरी में जा तल्ले सब बत्ती निबिस पर एवं मत बत्ती गली देखि रात को एगार बजे पंद्रह मिनट जो एक भूमिगत ट्रेन पुल पार कर इसलिए आवाज दिशा उसको आईमे को झाल खुला चिच्चाऊला तिमी तिनी कस को हत्या बारे में कुरा कर भरा ये बाट नहीं श्रीमती स्टेपेन्सन प्रश्न हो यो एक डकैती को स्थिति जस्तु देखने पर्ने तर तो उन्को ग्राहक ने के चाहिए तो भादा खेल पेलो मानस ने स्पष्ट कर झगड़ालू आत्मकेंद्रित मानसिक रूप में ग्रस्त बिरामी ओछान में पलटी रहने पर्ने अलग तो ओछान में पलटी रहकर बाहर वर्ष भैस श्रीमती स्टेपेन्सन उ दुखित निर्दोष आईमाई को हत्या होने कुछ सुनेर आत्तीक तो नंबर मिला पुनः प्रयास करे तर व्यस्तता को ध्वनि आँच उसके मुख्य अपरेटर लो नंबर पत्ता लगन भे तर ते सब निरर्थक होसले प्रहरी हलदार डफी घटना को जानकारी दिखे डफी भी कुछ निश्चयसंगत को अभाव में सहयोग असक्षम हो सेकेंड एवेन्ू लमो गली हो न्यूयोर्क में मा मैं धर पुल उसले सुने को टाड़ा को कल भी होना सकते ये धरें अप्ठारोर कसैले सहयोग सकतेन तीखे उसको फोन को घंटी बच्च तर उसके उठाऊ कोई बोलि उस रिस उठ कई समय पश्चात मिस्टर स्टेवेन्सन सोई रात एगार बजे बोस्टन का लगी जाने टेलीग्राम में आँच ऊ अत्याधिक आत्तीन्े साथी को लगी एक सेविक पठाईदि पर्यटन एवं अस्पताल को जानकारी बी विभाग में फोन करो उपलब्ध होते हैं जानकारी विभाग को मानीसंग कुछ भैर बेला कसले तल जोड़ फोन को रिसिवर उठाई आवाज सुनि आ तेरह अपरेटर फोन कर प्रहरी डफा को फोन लाइन जोड़ी दी फोन को घंटी बज्छ य चिच्या तर उ आवाज भूमिगत ट्रेन को आवाज में दौड़ डफी ने फोन उठा जर ने फोन में भ कृपया माफ कर तबले डायल कर नंबर मिले यो यो नाटक को सारांश हो दैट्स अल विथ द नेपाली समरी नाउ लेट्स गो विथ द एनालिस अफ द प्ले मिसेस लियोना स्टेबेन्सन अ कंट्रोलिंग हियर इज कन्फाइंड टू अ व्हील चेयर ओवर इयर्स अ कन्वर्सेशन अबाउट अ प्लांट टू किल अ वुमन अनएबल टू लिव हर होम और रिच हर हजबेन्ड एंड रिटर्न अफ बाई द पॉलिस लियोना स्ट्रगल्स टू अन कवर द ट्रुथ Uh, through a series of phone calls that only lead her uh, deeper in a uh, deeper into a mystery which may involve her college rival Sally and a scheme to sell pharmaceuticals on the black market from Mrs Stevenson things are not always what they seem she thought her husband was working late but she was really planning her murder Mrs. Stevenson is a character who eventually evokes quite a bit of pity from uh, the perhaps audience 
At first, she seems to be a wealthy, perhaps, um, perhaps a spoiled lady who lays around and gossips on the telephone. Uh, later, we learn that she's really a lonely, bedridden uh, student whose husband is orchestrating her murder. The main antagonist or uh, villain of sorry wrong number is Mrs. Stevenson's husband Albert. But all of the characters uh, Mrs. Stevenson calls her as antagonist in some capacity since they impede her goal to get help. Mrs. Stevenson seems to have misunderstood the intentions um, of her husband, Mr. Albert. Well, talking to the police sergeant, uh, Mrs. Stevenson says, mm. and the only other person is my husband, Albert. He is crazy about me. He adores me. He waits on my hand and foot. And mm. unfortunately for her, Mr. Mrs. Stevenson seems to have completely misunderstood her husband's real feelings towards her as it is revealed at the end of the story that he is actually the man who orchestrated her murder. Thus, her persistent miscalculation on her husband's fidelity leads to her untimely death. A bedridden invalid Mrs. Stevenson can only rely on the goodwill and initiative of others to get what she needs. She lies alone on her bed all night waiting for her husband to return home and in her hour of dire need, she is left unattended. Mrs. Stevenson's frustration over her object seclusion can be easily discerned from the way she communicates with people over the phone. This play depends upon exaggerated characters and events which draw the viewer reader in uh, and forces the viewer to possess an emotional attachment to the story, its action and the characters alike. It's a melodrama. The title of the play is taken from one of the character's speech which says, uh, sorry, wrong number. George says this to Duffy in course of telephone conversation. Uh, the one act play begins and ends with voice conversation of uh, different characters on the phone. Uh, while on the telephone, an invalid woman overhears what she thinks is a murder plot and um, attempts to prevent it but unfortunately she is murdered before the police arrives. The conflict here in the play, Mrs. Stevenson feels conflicted when she is connected to her husband's phone and overhears a conversation between two uh, criminals who are plotting to kill another person. Though she makes many attempts to disclose this murder plot, no one believes her and attributes this story to her hysteria. Later in the story she faces uh, an internal conflict when she hears the feral connection and being received uh, in her home, indicating that all her fears were justified and there was someone else in her house. Okay, let's go with the theme. When viewers discuss Fletcher's play, they often refer to the fear of the unknown. Some critics discuss mystery, suspense, helplessness, and ignorance and abandonment uh, as the themes of the play. Thus, the following themes can be discussed uh, as the themes of Fletcher's play, sorry, wrong number. The first one is mystery. Mystery is the dominant theme in the play, sorry, wrong number by Lucille uh, Fletcher. Mystery involves elements of the unknown. There are two mysteries in Fletcher's play, both of which concern Mrs. Stevenson. Uh, well, one of these uh, mysteries is solved, the other is left open-ended. Mrs. Stevenson is the victim of the murder plot. However, the second mystery about the murderer's boss is uh, speculation based on Mr. Stevenson's origin trip out of town and a logical motive for having his wife killed. Now, second uh, theme of this play is terror. Terror is an underlying theme in the play Sorry Wrong Number by Lucille Fletcher. Terror is essentially fear brought on by some internal or external individual situation or circumstance. 
Terror in Surrey wrong number revolves around the character of Mrs. Stevenson. Now, uh, let's talk about the third um, theme uh, of this play, helplessness and arrogance. The main ingredients in the play are helplessness leading to arrogance. Mrs. Stevenson believes she is at the mercy of those around her. She cannot get out of bed. She cannot get uh, through to her husband. She cannot make the telephone operator operators. Uh, the police officer or the hospital receptionist understand just how helpless she is. She does not humble her in any way. Instead, Mrs. Stevenson is rude and impassioned. She is quick to find fault with answer, uh, with the answers people give her. She carelessly insults and degrades others. She is not uh, such a gentle and soft-spoken woman. And uh, every time she speaks, uh, she sounds so angry and arrogant. Another theme of the play is abandonment here. Uh, an undercurrent of abandonment flows through Fletcher's drama. The first hint of this occurs when Mrs. Stevenson cannot go through to her husband's office. From her remarks and the resultant frustration, she fears abandonment. She cannot believe that her husband's phone line could be busy for almost an hour. Uh, surely, there must be something wrong with the phone. That's why she dials the operators and asks for help. Okay. So this is all about the theme of uh, the play. Now let's talk about the reader's review. It's a radio play about husband-wife relation. In the beginning of the story, she thinks that her, her husband is working late in his office. Then she finds out that the woman is going to Mm, to be murdered and tries to tell the police. Then she realizes at the very end of the story that she is the woman uh, whom they plan to keep. Murder. As she is an invalid, middle-aged woman, her husband wants to get rid of her. As he has been looking for her for 12 years and uh, this physically defected woman uh, cannot be his partner and uh, he wants to be he wants to get rid of this lady, so he has planned a murder uh, of his own wife who has been living the life of uh, the physically handicapped lady, um, you know, bedridden here for 12 years, a dozen years. The operator says that she needs to speak louder, uh, but if she does, the murderer will definitely find her. The woman is shown in jeopardy. Uh, Doff. He says to Clan, calm down, but she's worried for the woman's who are alive. Uh, in the beginning of the story, she was worried after she heard the murder plan. In the end of the story, she was super scared. Uh, after reading this play, the audience can hardly breathe. The playwright ends the story. The play reflects life in the American cities where money is much higher than the love of love wife. This is the example of faceless, fragmented modern American civilization. Uh, the, the Department of Police can prevent a crime through investigation. The audience is left without satisfaction. Why did Mrs. Stevenson have to die? How could Mr. Stevenson be so cruel that he plants the murder of his own wife? What is the lesson to be learned? Where is justice? Worst of all, audience may ask the ultimate question. Could this ever happen to me? The play is realistic and a thriller. The story of this drama also tells how murder is easy, how life has no love for the murderer's love for money. Okay, that's the end of my today's discussion. I'm sure you get the points. Uh, if you have any queries, please put your ideas in my comment box. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. And uh, um, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Uh, I will be back with other important videos. Uh, till then, have a nice time.